When someone's in an options mode, they're motivated to have lots of choices and lots of alternatives. But the problem for salespeople is people stay in an options mode, they are unlikely to make a decision. Because making a decision means eliminating all the other options. We don't like that. So part of the sales process is to show someone options, but then take them through a buying process. A process is a procedure. It has a beginning and a middle and an end, right? And you can see you have different kinds of customers. If you are working with a couple, one of them might be into exploring the alternatives, and the other one might be saying, well, what's the right way to do this? And you'll hear both languages. You know, when I first met my husband, my German engineer, and he invited me to his place in Berlin, he showed me the procedure for stocking the dishwasher. <laughs> I kid you not. And of course, my first reaction, because I'm aware of these patterns, was I don't think this uh, relationship is going to have legs. But then, 12 years later, well, and actually, I thought about it. You know, your kitchen does need to be procedural, because I went back home with me and my kids. And we had kind of an options kitchen, which meant if you want to cook something, you had to find where the last person put the stuff away, right? I mean, that takes a lot of time. You know people who have options patterns around their keys. They never put it in the one right spot for their key. So if they have a big handbag, you know what they do. <laughs> Looking for your keys, right? That's options. Whereas I have a procedural handbag. There is only one right place for my keys. You know, and a little later, my husband took me out because I wanted to buy a camera. Never got a camera because he kept showing me all the other options. So about technology, big options guy. So what language do you need to use with procedures and options clients? The next step, here's the right way, here's the procedure, and the key word is how. So if you're working with a bureaucracy and you want to do something, that's the question you ask, not is it possible? You say, what is the procedure for doing X? Or how do you do X? Because if somebody works in a procedure, they need to hear that procedural language. That's how you go to their bus stop.